Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn CRD in Helm with example. So let's start. So first of all in Helm, that CRD means custom resource definition. Okay. That allows you to extend Kubernetes by defining new resources that are not part of the default Kubernetes API. And you can use CRDs in Helm charts to enable the installations and management of custom resources along with the application that you are deploying. Okay, so let's start the CRD that means custom resource definition Helm with example. So first of all, we need install Helm and we need install kubectl also. So as you can see, this is my instance and here, as you can see here, I have successfully launched my instance and here I have successfully connected to my terminal. And here I have successfully installed Helm and kubectl also. Okay, so let's start this example CRD in Helm. So first of all, we need a create Helm chart. Okay, after installing Helm, we can, we can start by creating a new Helm chart using the Helm create command. So the command is helm create and your chart name. So my chart name is my chart. So as you can see here, I have successfully created my chart. If I inside my chart, you can see the details. Okay. So let's see, let me see your screen. Okay, so we have successfully created our chart. After that, the next step is define CRDS. Okay, so you can define your CRDS in a new directory inside your chart and the convention will place CRDS in the CRDS directory. For example, if you have a custom resource, my custom resource, so you can define it as a CRD. That means here in this chart, this is our chart, my chart in this my chart folder we are going to create new folder with the name crd okay so let's create so i'm going to create this folder you can see create a new file in the crds directory and if it doesn't exist okay so create it so let's create a crds folder in our chart okay now if i run the ls command and inside my Helm chart and if I run the ls command as you can see the folder crds okay that we have just created okay now in crds folder we are going to create this my resource crd.yaml file okay so let's inside the crds folder and if I run the ls command as you can see there is no file as of now so let's create a new one So as you can see the command my resource CRD is YAML. And here. Okay. So that's the file. So first of all, API version, kind, custom resource definition, CRD, metadata, name, space we group example kind my resource and uh, scope namespace and the so on okay now let's save the file and exit okay it's done we have successfully created our this or uh, this file which file my resource crd.yaml file in this crds folder okay now the next step is create a resource using crd okay now define a custom resource in this template folder so we are going to inside this template folder and in this uh, template folder, we are going to create this file myresource.yaml. Okay, so let's inside the templates.folder. So first of all, I'm going to exit from this CRD directory. And now let's inside the template folder and let's run the command sudo nano and the name of file. Okay, so API version example, kind my source, 
and the name is my source instance and low end the bar is 42 let's save the file and exit okay so we have successfully created two files first see this cid is folder my resource cid.yaml file and next one is in this templates folder and the file name is my resource dot yaml file now if in the ls command as you can see our file that we have just created okay now the next is let's exit from the folder Next is let's open if I run the ls command here as you can see charts dot chart dot yaml file. So let's open this chart dot yaml file and here let's check for once API version two name my chart description type version and API version. Okay, that's it. Let's save the file. Okay, that's it. Okay, metadata in your chart. So here there is a present in metadata. Okay. Now the next step is let's install the chart. So when you install the install the chart, then you need to exit from the whole folder. Okay, so now I'm going to exit. Okay, now let's install install this helm chart by running the following command. So let's run the command. So my chart name is my chart, so that's why here I mentioned my chart press enter now as you can see name my helm release last deploy date and timing def uh, namespace default status deploy revision one in notes as you can see here the url and ports name and so on forward the port port name is 8080 and so on okay that's it Okay, so as you can see, this will install the CRD that resource CRD dam uh, CRD dot YAML file into the Kubernetes cluster and create the custom resources my resource instance defined in the templates my resource dot YAML file. Okay, now if you want to check the bars, as you can see, my helm release my chart ready one of one running and the age is 49 seconds ago now if you want to check the service as you can see here my helm release my chart and the port number is 8064 seconds ago and if you want to check the deployment you can see ready one of one up to date one available one and age is 75 seconds ago Right, that's it. Okay, so that's the example of this. Okay. So here in this, we are going to use this CRDs in help chart that allows you to manage custom resources efficiently alongside your Kubernetes deployments and the CRDs can be placed in this CRDs directory. And the helm will, helm will handle its installations during the chart installation and the custom resources can then be created and managed in this templates directly. Okay, so that's it. So it's done. So in this session, we have learned CRDs in Helm with example. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.